Hi everybody, it's Alex. I'm here today with a tutorial um, just for the eyes. And this is an amazing smoky eye under the eye. It's obviously a cat eye as well. Um, I was getting kind of inspired by Egyptian or ancient Egyptian makeup. Um, I was looking through actually one of my history books and I saw this really cool drawing. And so I kind of just decided to recreate it, um, kind of bring it into the 21st century. Use a little bit more radical colors, um, and I turned out really well. I really like this. I think I'm gonna wear it out tonight. Um, but yeah, it's also super easy, super simple, and you only need a couple products to do it. So keep watching if you want to find out how to get this very sexy Egyptian-inspired eye. Alrighty, so let's get started. The first thing I'm doing is I am taking this eyeliner by Mac. It is Indigo. Indigo. It's just a really nice blue. And I'm gonna put that all over my waterline, and then I'm gonna smudge it down. So really load up on the product, put a ton in there, and you're gonna smudge it down into your lash line, and you're gonna wing it out a little bit. You're gonna wanna make sure that you do it a little bit heavier on the outer corner than on the inner corner. Okay, then you're gonna take an angle brush and you're just gonna use that to really blend it out. I personally have super, ooh, there was my brush. Um, <clears throat> I personally have super thick eyelashes, so I really have to kind of grind it in there to make sure that there's no white space between where the liner should be and where my lashes are. So I'm just blending that out little by little. Now I didn't get the perfect shape that I wanted so I'm going in and I'm using a Q-tip. It's sort of just as an eraser because getting it even is always the hardest part. So you can see that's pretty even and I can fix it a little bit more as I go in with some different colors. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm taking this color by MAC, it's Deep Truth, it's just like this beautiful jewel toned blue. I'm taking that on a um, stiff brush, it's very thin here, let me see, you can get a look at it, there you go. Um, and I'm just going to place that right underneath the eye, right in my lash line, and then extend it down into where I've blended. This is just really going to add that pop, and really whatever color your eyes are, it's going to make them look gorgeous. So now that I have that on how I like it, I'm going to take a little bit of pigment. This is Corn Flower by MAC. It is gorgeous. It's like a lavender blue duochrome pigment. Um, here, I'll do a little, I'll show you the lid. That's what it looks like. It's such a pretty color. And it's even prettier on, and it blends into that deep truth perfectly. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a pencil brush, and then I'm going to wet my brush just a little bit using some Fix Plus in the back of my hand. Wet it, and then I'm going to pick some of that pigment up, and I'm going to blend that right into the bottom underneath where I was doing that deep truth. And for this, I'm really concentrating on the inner part to sort of give it a little bit of a highlight because this color, this color is lighter than deep truth. And then right just underneath where that blue was, and then I'm also using it as a blend out color up here, we're at the end of my cat eye. So I'm just packing it on there, right on the inner corner, and then sweeping it underneath, and then blending it in. Alrighty, now one of the last steps is I am going to take this eyeliner. This is Laura Mercier. It's black violet. It actually just comes out really black, but it does have a little bit of a purple hue, so it goes with the blue tones that we're doing. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to put it in the waterline, and I'm going to blend it out. And I'm also going to use it right as the top of my, you can see this one has sort of like a blacker cat eye, just to add a little bit more drama. Last, last step is mascara. So I'm going to do MAC Pro Lash. And you can actually just do it to the bottom if you want. It's generally what I do, but I'll do it to the top and the bottom so you can see what it looks like. Alrighty, and now the very, very last thing that I'm doing is you can see that this one blends down just a little bit lower than this one. And that's because I've done concealer on this eye and I have it on this eye. So I'm just going to go in with my concealer. I'm using Studio Sculpt Concealer by MAC and NW20. And I'm taking that on a fluffy 224 MAC brush. I'm just going to go under my eye and I'm going to blend that up just to get the shapes the same. And I really want to make sure that this inner corner is blended up. 
so it starts very thin like it does there. And then gently blending until I get the shape just right. Alrighty, there you have it, the finished look. Hope everybody enjoyed that. And this is a beautiful look. It's so sexy. I'm so obsessed with it. Um, wear it with confidence, wear it with pride. Go out and have a fun night. Bye.